Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Accolade Aradox speaking with another episode of Warp Wednesday. And we are here with Worm Unlimited. Perhaps you already heard about this game, but probably not. Because this game is from 2006 and it was all the rage. Notch was in the development team. Yeah, and it's a hyper realistic life situation simulation medieval life simulation that is and i'm here to convert you possibly to be a new player of worm so that the game gets the intention it deserves and also perhaps we can do a um, subscriber special video where we play worm with all our subscribers at least that's what I'm thinking, it could be nice. So in Worm, you start out on your server and you start out with nothing, basically. So, yeah, what do you do with no tools? So your first goal is to find a rock tile. So, you see, this is a rock tile. And oh, the very first thing is to go to the settings. I am not going there now because the game freaks out if I do it. <laughs> and um, nah, I can try and show you. And configure your K bind for free look mode and toggle it to S to any key you want. For me, it's space and it works, and that's all I want to know. All right. Um, yeah, so now normally you had to drag your left mouse click to look around. Um, give me a sec here. Hmm. Okay. Ah, no. All right, we're back. <laughs> so, yeah, we start off with nothing. So, what to do? Um, you're looking for these rock tiles and you activate your climbing mode and hope you have enough stamina to actually climb this mountain. For me it should be okay. And when you're standing on the rock you mark it um, by closing the mouse look mode, pressing your assigned key and now your mouse is free. And you click on the rock tile, it's selected in blue then. Um, let's see, so now I have the tile border, I want a rock tile and it shows me all the actions I can do. And you want to click on rummage. Then your character will be searching the rock tile for anything lying on the ground. It will cost a bit uh, stamina and when the progress bar has finished running through, it will tell you what you found. I found a rock, which is quite neat. I let go of the climbing mode. Luckily I didn't hurt myself. Now, um, you want to rummage rock until you find a rock item and the rock shard item. Then you will click on your crafting symbol right over your event bar. Click on crafting. There is a window which will open. Then you press I for inventory and look for the rock shards and your rock. And you will see you can make a crude knife. And then you click create and your character will start creating a knife out of rocks as you can see. I was lucky and I created a crude knife right away. I'll drop it right away because I already have a knife. Uh, or I'll keep it. Let's see. So your next goal is um, to search some trees and then in the vicinity of the trees click on the ground tiles and click on forage. This area looks pit clean, so we are taking some other ground tiles. This one is good. 
and we will forage. Oh, uh, now you have to forage until you can find a branch. So, we are finding all kinds of things because my foraging skill is high. And a high foraging skill will give you more items which you can find. So, I'll try some more, but if I don't find the branch... I'll just cut down a tree. <laughs> Wemp. Wemp is alright. <laughs> um, alright, and I'll take my hatchet. And just cut down a lemon tree right here. If you're just starting out, sadly you have to be foraging until you find a branch, but I'm just taking a look. Okay. Then I'm adding the lock to the crafting menu, take my carving knife and I'll make a shaft which is the same as a branch. Ah, I failed. Okay, I'll drop the remaining piece of log and I've got a shaft. Now, with these shafts and uh, rocks or rock shards, no, only rock. I don't have any more rock. <laughs> um, let's see. What you want is a crude axe head head. So you need your crude knife and rock shards um, with which I can be of service. So we're taking our rock shards and our crude knife and we are making ourselves a crude axe head. And we failed. I'm already gaining skills, that's nice. <laughs> so, um, rock shards are always 20 kilos in weight, so you don't have to worry that you'll use them up quickly. But basically, as it says, um, you want to make crude axe heads or crude pickaxe heads or crude shuffle blades. You need all of them to make your standard basic set of tools. <laughs> My character is bad with those things. Okay, let's wait until our stamina refreshes because everything costs a bit of stamina in this game. Um, so handling rock shards is, oh we made it, is beneficial to the skill masonry. So that's accurate. Then you take your shaft or your branch into the crafting window and your crude axe head and you can make a crude axe which allows you to cut down your own trees and get logs and with these logs oh i dropped it down ah there it is with these logs then you can go into the crafting menu take the logs in take your crude knife and can go make kindlings. What do you need kindlings for, you're asking? I'll show you. Also, crude tools um, are 
not beneficial to your crafting skills. So crafting with crew tools will get the malus and yeah, there is a penalty. Now we have the kindlings. Um, I have two of them, so I will just combine them. Now I have only one kindling item. And with this kindling kindlings we can make a fire, a campfire. But for us to have a campfire we need wood scrap and therefore I'm going back to my tent looking for wood scrap. You will get wood scrap if you craft anything out of wood and a carving knife. That's why I showed you the crafting menu with the log and the carving knife. And um, if you produce anything other than a kindling, like a bow or a fishing hook, uh, you'll get wood scrap as byproduct. And you'll need the wood scrap to start a fire. So let's see here. I have logs. I have shafts. I have a cauldron. But I don't have wood scrap. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. So I have to take some logs out of these chests here. Oh, there's my frying pan. Okay. I'm taking the log out. And I'm creating short a short bow. Oh, there's too 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 low of a material on the lock. Um, I guess I guess I I guess I have to create um, something else. And I have to cut down a tree. Okay. See, so that's what happens if you want to take step two before step one. So let's create a crude egg set, uh, a crude X out of our crude X head and the shaft. If I can manage to do it. Character says no. <laughs> I'm lucky to have the X. Uh, it was a hell of a work. Okay, finally, we've got a crude X. Now with items. Um, to cut down a tree, you walk up to a tree, of course. And then you go into your inventory, select your tool, you, what you want to use. You can use a sword or a pickaxe, but you can also use the X. And double click it now it's green and green means this one is activated so now you can look at the lemon tree click on it and select cut down and this is what we want you can queue actions so I'm pressing cut down three more times so my character will automatically start cutting down the tree again if it fails All right, still no, don't enough. Um, you can also click while you do anything. You can click on examine, and it'll tell you. <laughs> now that the tree is gone, you see a patch of grass. The grass is medium and seems to like it here. Okay, normally it would say there's a tree. This goes for your body as well, so you can go and examine yourself. Um, yeah. But if you're not injured, it won't <laughs> bring any, yeah, anything at all. So now we have our new look, newly freshly created, freshly cut down. Let's take our crude knife again. And as always, let's try and create a spindle. So you're looking for something with a high percentage, so you don't take too long. 
and also you look for something which won't take too much weight from your log so you can produce more of it so you will see uh, every spindle I create will take 0.6 of the weight of the log and will create a spindle and nothing more ah that's not so good okay let's make a short bow Uh, we got a short bow, but we don't got any wood scrap. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where would I get wood scrap? Hmm. Uh, give me a moment here. Be right back. And we are back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was dumb and uh, I found out I need a bigger log. <laughs> As always in life. Okay, now um, I found me some... Some wood scraps um, I'm opening the stacks and I'm selecting one so it's green with double click and mark them all and combine them together so I have a combined pile of wood scrap of 5 ki kilo gram and then I'll combine my kind links kin links together and then I will activate either of them click right on the other item click create furnaces and campfire and hopefully my character manages it no i didn't manage well glad i have enough kindlings and wood scrap so nothing is lost and there it is a nice little campfire by double clicking something you also will examine it so you don't have to walk up to it and click the eye just double click it and it says the fire burns steadily and will still burn for a long time that's good um, but i'm also taking my walnut lock activating it so it's green right click the fire and click on burn so it get i fuel the campfire with my lock and now if I examine it, it still burns for a long time, but I know I put a log in. Um, I think if you put in a maximum size log, uh, your campfire will burn for a whole day. So now, um, with our crude knife, we can't really um, make shafts or handles for items. So this is why I'm on the road again here. Um, looking again for rock tiles because um, the rock tiles we were first are now empty because we were there already so now I'm activating climbing mode as always and try to rummage through some rocks what I'm looking for is another rock made of iron so let's see if we are lucky and we found rock let's look it up there it is the newest items commonly is on the bottom and it's made of iron with three kilogram of weight that's pretty nice um, let's look for some more let's regain our breath also take care of your fluid bar this is how thirsty you are and the yellow bar is how hungry you are and the more emptier the bars are the more hungry or thirsty you are so be careful and keep in mind uh, your stamina won't regenerate as fast if you are hungry or thirsty or both um, 
I'm climbing around here. Um, always be careful when you are on slopes and keep in mind while climbing your stamina won't regenerate. So you will need some stamina to go back up. Just keep that in mind. And we found another rock. This should be enough to go the next step I want to show you. Just let me climb up back up here. Alright, I think it's safe here. If you have a shovel, you can activate it and look at the tire borers. And if the slope up is higher than 20 um, and you're not skilled in climbing, your character will, um, will stumble down. So you will have to activate the climbing mode if the slope is greater than 20. At least in the beginning. Now, um, you remember we... Um, let me just combine the rocks. We activated items and right click on the fire, but now there is no burn options. Because now we want to put something in the fire. So you have to open the fire with your bare hands. <laughs> the fire is actually a container. And put in your rock of iron. And now we wait. Um, so, your next goal when you've made a crude axe, a uh, crude pickaxe and a crude shovel is to make a real good carving knife. So now you have to rummage rock tiles and you need approximately 10 rocks of iron. I just got two of them uh, because I just want to show you what to do with them. Now, um, when you open a fire, you see uh, your item and the little marking on top of the icon of the uh, item. And this one will change from yellow to orange, which will mean it's hot. And we are waiting for it to be red hot and then the little icon is red hot too. So be right back. All right, we're back and Upon inspection of the campfire, we can see our rock is gone and now we have a lump of iron sitting around, which is Nido Burrito. <laughs> we just leave it there for now, because now um, you need to go and forage another branch. So I'll try my luck again. And I found a branch. Nice. So I can actually show you. And don't have to cheat. So you take your branch and you take your crude knife and you make a shaft. Not a crude shaft, only a shaft. And we try to make it. <laughs> and we made it. Alright, so from a branch you can always make about one shaft. Okay, now we got our shaft. And we combine it with our crude knife and make a mallet head. Just one. One is enough. All right. And um, the rest of the shaft is now useless um, because you need a shaft of weight one to make a shaft for a tool like a shovel. So. Um, now you can carve these into handles or keep it for later or to put it in a fire. So the next step is to find another branch. I guess I won't be that lucky to show you actually. No, I found an egg. 
Can I find my lost egg? Uh, I'm eating it right away. <laughs> Alright, sadly I didn't find another sh uh, branch, but you have to believe me. Um, if I say you have to find another branch and I'll take... Oh, I have another branch in my chest. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. And then I go back to crafting. Earlier I said you need to find a branch for your crude tools. Um, um, but that's actually wrong. <laughs> you have to make your branch into a crude shaft first. And then combine your crude shaft um, with your axe head. To create a crude axe. So... Um, I'm creating now a real shaft. Sorry, uh, someone's calling. <coughs> oh, damn you, wife. I guess. Alright. Um, so. We've successfully made the shaft. Now we take this shaft we just made. And the mallet head we made earlier to create the mallet. So our first form of hammer and I think... No, I've upgraded already. But you can keep it for quite a long time. Then you open your campfire and take out your lump of iron. Take it in your crafting window. And stomp on it with your mallet to create a small anvil. Um, I already did that. So you have to believe me. There it is. Um, so I don't have to do this. So now I'm just taking my small pocket anvil, pull it into the crafting window together with my lump of iron and scroll down until I find the carving knife blade. Then we create the carving knife blade and then you can see for a carving knife made of iron you need a handle which we could have carved with our crude knife out of a branch or a shaft um, and a carving knife blade we've made on our mini M <coughs> mini anvil. So now we've got our first real tool um, a nice piece of carving knife which um, allows us to make shafts straight from logs we've got from felled trees. So um, this concludes, uh, concludes about the introduction of your first tools and in the next episode we'll go on to farming and building some other items like um, a training dummy for example so you can go and fight so making a carving knife is really the first step of the game <laughs> besides finding a nice place to build your your little encampment or village uh, which has water rocks and some trees <laughs> but then the next step is to find the rocks and make a crude tools and a real good carving knife. So, um, this concludes the small introduction and very short and <laughs> most certainly not covering all of the first things to do in Worm. Introduction. Uh, I hope you had fun and found it a bit is interesting and I hope to see you again soon uh, on the next video which will be a main game one day episode as always. If you want to see more worm, just write a comment, leave a like, and if you didn't like the video, feel free to leave a comment what wasn't so good so I can go better next time. So as always, thanks you for watching and bye bye.